Good morning. We are Lloydy and Fifi reporting for the weather here <laughs> in Fife. And today we have a rather wet and wild day on this stretch of Fife Coastal Park that we've continued from Buckhaven to Ely, where today it has taken us to the London Lynx. London Lynx is a very small, beautiful little village just outside Leven, which grew in popularity in the 19th century as a neighbouring village, Lower Largo, was so popular with tourists that they needed more housing as people flocked to the village. And today we're here to visit the 18-hole London Lynx golf course, but it's also home to a nine-hole ladies course with a little bit of interesting significant history. A London Lynx Golf Club was opened on the 8th of May 1868 and now sits on this very narrow strip of land between what was the old railway line from Leaven to St Andrews and the sea right behind us here. And how apt it is that the London Lynx drive through is on Golf Road. That is pretty awesome. London Lynx Golf Course was originally linked with his neighbour next door as they both shared this strip of Lynx ground running along the sea, now divided by what is known as the Mile Dyke, a little strip of wall down by the 5th Green and the 6th Tee Box. Both clubs used to tee off from their respective ends and meet in the middle. The leaving end of the links was much more popular with players as the London end was ascribed to be full of bents, tussocks and winds, making play at this end of the course much more difficult. Despite encouragement from the Inner Leaving and the Leaving Golfing Society to encourage people to play the London end by giving prizes, the popularity here was just not there and after nine years, the London club died out. And after a nine year closure, the club was resurrected again in 1889 with a yearly subscription of two and six, which is about 13p by today's standards. I couldn't even buy a golf tee for that. A two room clubhouse was then built for £70 and golf began again on the links. In 1907, the demand for golf was high, with 400 members at London and over a thousand members at Leven sharing those holes in the middle. London needed to acquire some more land and expand their golf course. The originally designed course by old Tom Morris himself needed the help of one of Scotland's finest architects to design what we have today from James Braid. So in 1908, James Braid arrived to London to put in motion plans to expand the course to a full 18. However, they were up against one significant problem. Being that London is squeezed between the railway line and the sea, the demand for land was a problem. The only way they could get around this was by convincing the ladies to move their nine hole course, which is just here, to a new piece of ground. Now that took some persuasion and the only way they could get around it was by getting James Braid to design their new course as well. So the ladies moved their nine hole course to here at Standing Stain Park where these incredible stones behind me are right in the middle of the second fairway. They date back to the second millennium BC and somehow in 1792, one of them went missing. They were called four poster stones, but only three remain today. Makes for a pretty incredible tee shot aiming directly at them. Now, although we're not playing the ladies course today, we are, however, teeing off in about half an hour over on the London Lynx golf course. 
the rain is due to lift in about 30 minutes time and as they say in five give it 20 minutes the weather will be a whole different situation so fingers crossed it actually does lift because it's coming down pretty heavy right now Wind is a great challenge. Obviously we have uh, nine holes of our original uh, layout which is very much links uh, and we have nine which will be more uh, sort of inland parkland uh, and obviously when the wind blows uh, every hole can be can be a great challenge. Wasn't that a good day? Red guitar, purple stick the ball was on. Today with sun and showers in typical Fife fashion. I'm actually playing some pretty good golf today, getting off the tee well and actually managing to make my way around this course in a pretty decent fashion. It's steeped in history. I mean, obviously, initially the course uh, was part of uh, the links which joined with Leaven, which is a Tom Morris design. So, obviously, he being a legend of the game uh, is huge. To have then James Braid redesign something, we've kind of got two legends of the game who've kind of put something into our golf course. And as I said, being a, an open qualifier up until 2005 and having had the World Junior Open Championship in 2010 and celebrating our 150th in 2018, we also had the qualifier for the Seniors Open at St Andrews. So, I mean, it is really classed up and, and seemed to be one of the high-end properties uh, in the area of Fife. making par. I mean the birdie is so far late, unlikely for me, but par feels amazing. Lovely. The wind can do with west or east, east or west. I mean, um, but it can be quite a challenge. I mean, obviously the first five go towards leaving, so they're heading west. Um, if there's a westerly, it can be pretty tough. Um, there's no real normal wind. It's just that there's a breeze here all the time, so there's always tends to be a, a, a challenge out there when wind when wind comes into to effect. Sing the back, mama. Sing the back. When it's windy, swing it slow, keep it low. <laughs> That's you know, it, 
it, it's like anything, you know, you tend to find we give a lot of people a lot of tips. Wind's the most uh, common one, especially with the tourists that come from the States. Um, because obviously when we do play uh, or when you play in the wind, you tend to think we must gonna hit this harder, we must swing it faster. And all that's gonna do is generate spin, so as we say, spin, so as we say, you know, swing it slow, keep it low. tell me is the 14th which is a small par 3 at the far end uh, where uh, we're, we're split with a mile dike between Leaven and ourselves uh, and that is one of our we'll say new holes from 1909. I don't know if it's true or not but I tell everybody it's one of the, the few if not the only golf course where you can stand on one tee and actually see every hole. So every course has a signature hole and I think this has to be London's one up on the 14th tee box and it's only a short par three but the beauty of this hole is that from this tee box you can see every green and every other tee box on every other hole from up here and that is pretty special and that looks like a pretty tricky par three And it amazes me to think that over a hundred years ago, this course was closed for a period of nine years because it was deemed too tough by the members. Although still a really tough Lynx course. In 2020, the London Lynx is classed as one of the best courses in Fife. And I have to say, that was one epic round of golf on the Lynx. Yeah, absolutely loved it there today. You can see why it attracts so many visitors. It is one tough course, that mix of Lynx holes and Parkland holes makes it a really, really interesting and fun round of golf. And I think I've played really well today, so I am pretty, pretty, pretty happy. So as always guys, these videos are not possible without your help. So please comment below if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, we came here for golf and this, this is, is what, what we saw. saw.